Hi and welcome back to another episode of Project Media. I'm Minotti and uh, my partner in crime is behind the camera. So today we are not at the farm, we are uh, at home and uh, we are here to answer some questions um, and probably you like them. Um, first question being how did all of this start? So uh, as you would have seen in our previous uh, vlogs, we've been traveling a lot, we've been uh, going to a lot of trekking and a lot of uh, nature oriented Places. So one of the very common feeling we've had is the sense of solace, a sense of wholeness with the nature um, and what better way to start off a project um, in order to have sustainability with the nature and do many more things um, and obviously related to nature. So um, that's all about how all of this started. Moving to the second question, um, what were the things that we considered before we started off? Uh, obviously we were uh, getting off out of our comfort zone and we had to weigh in all the possible risks that we were going to get into. Um, uh, both mentally and physically we had to know we were completely ready to take up a new challenge. Uh, one of the things that we were uh, we strongly looked into was having stability and clarity. Stability in terms of financial stability and clarity in terms of what kind of farming we wanted to get into. So for the financial stability part, so we had partnered with uh, Peak Alpha, they are our financial advisors for the last 5 years. They have been extremely helpful um, and um, we can share their uh, details uh, in the link below. And um, I think with their help we have had a lot of discipline in our uh, financial aspect been able to save as much to take up a new project so that was one and in terms of clarity uh, there are numerous types of farming and we chose permaculture because we are uh, it it best suited our uh, lifestyle and also because we are corporate employees and we do not have the weekdays we only have the weekends to spend at the farm and moving to the third question as to where to start this project um, obviously we lived in Bangalore for a very long time and uh, but as we know Bangalore prices are way too high and out, out of our budget. So um, during the pandemic we obviously moved to Utpi and we did mention that in the previous uh, video. Um, but like we know there's always uh, a situation gives rise to another, another opportunity and this was an opportunity for us. We uh, looked for land out in the outskirts of Udpi and we got at a very good price um, and um, we did look at a couple of things before we purchased the land uh, that were the accessibility to um, essentials, hospitals, um, did we have electricity, did we have, uh, did we have road connectivity. So these were the basic things uh, that we looked into before purchasing a land and um, we can give you more uh, tips on it uh, in our coming videos and we would cover, we would definitely like to cover points as to what are the documentation one needs um, before purchasing a land, how to initiate purchase a land, if you are new to a place, uh, do you have to go through an agent or are, are there other ways to purchase a land and obviously the other nuances that we did and we would definitely like to share them with you and if you would like to see more of such videos please do like share and subscribe thank you <laughs>